Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Labs. And the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Labs are a little trickier than the other labs because not only do you have to have GNS3 set up, but you also have to incorporate your real switches into GNS3. So what I'm going to do is to show you a quick walkthrough of how to set this up and get it working correctly. So again, it must be noted that what I'm using for my lab for these two troubleshooting labs are two 3550s. So as you can see you might just want to populate your GNS3 configuration like I have it set up. We have four routers, host 1, host 3, host 2, and host 4. And what I'm going to do is show you how to connect your routers to your switches. Again, the cloud in this instance is going to represent our connection to our switches. So we're going to be connecting. First off, let's go ahead and go into switch one. If we go into the configuration of switch one, what I'll do is I will delete these these interfaces and then I'm going to show you how to create them. How do you connect your real switch to your virtual machine? Also let's go into switch 2 and do the same thing. So what we're going to do is just take these out already because I already added these from an earlier lab. And so I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So the first thing you want to do is you want to incorporate your switch with a your switch your interfaces right on your computer that's going out to your switch if you're using quad port nix you want to first off label those interfaces so if i show you how this is performed on on my system whoops sorry about that if i right click my network places and go to properties you can see that I have all my local area connection on my all my network interface cards on my GNS3 server and what I've done is I've labeled each one of these for instance one of the ones that we're going to be using for our lab is local area connection 11 is going out to switch 1 fast ethernet 03 so I know that that network interface card goes out to my switch one's fast ethernet 03 so it's pretty simple once you understand how to label it and where those connections are going to how to pretty much build this lab so for this case VLAN I'm sorry host one is going to connect to fast ethernet 01 on switch one so what we're going to do is again if you just take and drag and drop the cloud interface over we're just going to right click on the cloud go to configure and under switch one what we're going to do is you're going to see we have a list of generic ethernet NIOs network interface so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're just going to click on the list and then you can see that I have all of my connections here all my local area connections so again if we look at our diagram host one is connecting to switch one fast ethernet one so we know switch one fast ethernet 01 is what we need to connect to. So what we'll do first is we will set this one up. So we'll go under and take a look and see if we can see which local area connection that is. And we can see local area connection 13 on my computer is connected to switch one faster than at 01. So I click on that and then I click add and you can see that it's populated now. So now I'll go ahead and hit apply and OK. And then the, next, the last thing I'm going to do is just click on add a link and do the fast ethernet option. And then for host one for the device, I'll just click on it. And then I'll click on to switch one. And then we'll choose the NIO that we just populated, the switch one's cloud width. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And there is our connection. So now what we're going to do is host 3, we're going to connect it to fast ethernet 03 on switch 1. 
So we're just going to do the same thing we just did. We're just going to right click on switch 1, go to configure, and then under switch 1, what we're going to do is click on the generic Ethernet NIO, and we're going to look for the connection switch 1 FA03, which is local area connection 11. So we're just going to click on that, and then we're going to click add, and you can see now that I've added another interface for our cloud, our switch one cloud. So again that's 5 delta 9 is the one we just created and so when I go ahead and hit apply and OK and then I add a new link, a fast Ethernet connection from host 3 to FA03 of switch 1, you can see now that the red link is the one that we want to connect to. So that's the one that hasn't been used yet. Again that's 5 delta 9. We'll go ahead and click on that and now we have our connection from our for all of our switch one devices that are connect I'm sorry for the hosts that connect to switch one so let's go ahead and switch two and do the same thing again host two is connecting to FA02 so very easy to follow we're gonna just right click on switch two so we're gonna look for switch two FA02 so we're gonna look for our local area connection that's going to switch to FA02 which is local area connection that's our first one again there's no name for it it's just local area connection switch to FA02 so we're gonna click on that and then click add again that's Charlie Delta 0 are the last three digits for that that we need to remember Charlie Delta 0 so we'll go ahead and hit apply and OK and now I'll select the fast Ethernet link and then we're going to go from host 2 again to FA02 on switch 2 and now it's populating switch 2's cloud with the NIO interface again that's Charlie Delta 0 so we'll go ahead and click click on that and now you can see that our, we have a link so the last one we want to do is on host 4 we want to connect host 4 to FA04 on switch 2 so again like we did in the previous three examples. We'll just click on switch to. Again in this connection we're going to connect host 4 to FA04 on switch 2. So pretty simple stuff once you understand what you're doing. So we'll go ahead and click this drop down and we'll go to switch 2 FA04 which is local area connection 5. So switch to FA04 again. So go ahead and click add and now we see the last three digits are 0 Charlie 4 so we'll go ahead and hit apply and OK. And now we're going to add our fast Ethernet link again from host 4 to FA04 of switch 2. So we'll click on host 4 and then we're going to click on switch 2 and we can see the red, the red icon is the one that we want to choose because that's the one that has not been populated yet. Again, 0 Charlie 4 is what we we added to switch to to the cloud. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And now you can see that we have our links from our routers to our switches. So again, that's how we set up the virtual routers to the real switches. Again, you have to go into your if you're using a computer or whatever you're, however you're connecting your GNS3 into your switches make sure that you tag those interfaces so you know where they're coming in so you know how to mark those inside of GNS3 to the corresponding interface so once you got that down then it's pretty easy to set up the connection and then we have a connection an 802.1Q trunk connection between fast Ethernet 014 on both switches so Again, all you need to do from this point on really is to drop the initial configs into switch 1 and switch 2 and also drop the initial configs into your host 1, 2, 3, and 4 devices. And all those initial configs are provided to you along with the troubleshooting PDF file that will explain and give you the troubleshooting tickets that you have to troubleshoot.
So again, this is the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Lab 1 and 2 setup. Both of these labs are set up the same. Again, the, the same interfaces are going from your switches to your hosts. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.